Hi everybody. I am gonna to try to give you an update again today on this hive, hive number 21. It's been since November that I gave you an update. Uh, since then, I can't remember exactly, I think I had given three to four quarts of syrup uh, total. I've given them six to seven now. Uh, and they're still alive, they're doing all right. You can see them coming in out there a little bit. Uh, it's been really crappy weather, I mean, for months. Uh, at one, for, for about a two week period, it got down multiple times to below zero and then twice to 17 below zero. Now that's, I know I have a lot of viewers from Canada and the Northeast, uh, and that might not seem too cold to you, but it's pretty cold, it's pretty cold to us. 30 degrees below zero is about as low as we I've ever seen us get. So, uh, in any case, when you get down to 17 degrees below zero, I don't care where you live, uh, a three frame, you know, hive is not, they don't have a whole lot of resources there. So they made it through. In fact, they seem to be fine. The hive next to them did not, it looks like they lost their queen and uh, they passed away about a month ago. So uh, during one of those really cold nights. But we're gonna get into this hive today and I'm gonna put some more sugar syrup on it. Now this is a, this is a two to one mixture of sugar syrup. I've mentioned before that I feed different, you know, different concentrations of syrup, five to one, this is a two to one. Uh, here's the thing about sugar, feeding sugar syrup. Now, I had a comment on one of my videos. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, a few weeks ago anyway, saying that sugar syrup is bad for bees. And that, it was just a blanket statement. And a lot of people associate sugar, which is bad for humans, bad for people, a lot of people associate that with animals or insects as well, too. 98% of what, uh, when we, the, the makeup of white sugar, which is what I use here, just regular white sugar, that makeup is 98% of exactly what is in a nectar supply from a nectary in a plant. It's not bad for bees. What it does do is it helps stimulate them to, to rear brood in these lower concentrations. So two to one concentration is good for when you want to stimulate them to rear brood. A five to one concentration is good for the winter, I think, because, because it gives them a little bit of, uh, it's, it's more energy, you know, per volume, basically. And that, that's what they need in the winter is energy so they can uh, vibrate their wing muscles and keep the hive warm. So that's what I usually do is feed, feed them a thicker syrup during the winter. Now we're February 9th, so it's not spring yet, still winter, but there's such a weak hive that I want to stimulate them to rear a little bit of brood. So there's a pollen patty in here still. I don't, I, I haven't seen the pollen patty since you've seen the pollen patty. Uh, I just, all I do is come down and I check. I listen to them side of the hive. I put my ear to the side of the hive, wrap on the hive, make sure they're still alive come out on warmer days when it's uh, it's been too windy to shoot a video and see if they're flying a little bit. Anybody out there in Pacific or living along the Rocky Mountains, you've heard of Chinook winds. We've had those really bad for the last few weeks and today we get a break from them. And those winds are just awful. They're downslope winds that are 40 to 60 miles an hour and just tear things up. Uh, it's been pretty bad. Um, anyway, let's get into the hive and see how they're doing. Okay. The syrup can is completely empty. Of course, we expected that, right? You can see them clustered there. Oh, I wish I could have cut that on videotape. So, uh, when you open up bees like this, and it was kind of quick, they actually have this, that bee that just went in, she had her, she's got her stinger out, in fact. They've actually got their stingers out, and what that is, is it's just, I haven't worked them in a while, and it's, you know, a little breezy out here, but not too bad. 
but you can go off of their behavior. If they stick their tails up in the air, you can actually look at them, you know, with their stingers out. You see none of them came after me, at least not yet. But I think I'm going to move the camera just a little bit closer so you can just view that too. So Okay, let's get into the hive. When you when you open them up like that and you see that behavior, what you want to do is is just take it a little slow. A little slower than normal even. Okay. So it's been a few months, like I said. I think it was in November, like probably like around this time in November, November 8th, something like that. When I looked into them last and you can see, so now the cluster is here, right here. It's not so much on this frame. I, I believe this is the frame that we put in there so that they could rear brood on them. You can see they haven't done much of the pollen patty since, at least from this side. Nothing on below, so nothing down below. So I might get them a new one. Uh, so they they have shrunk in size a little bit. It looks like to me, they're still over three frames. But let's take a look. We'll look for the queen, make sure she's still good. Like I said, just take things ever a little bit slower. You can see them kind of flying around me. They're not, uh, you know, when they get ready to sting, they'll usually one will start bumping you in the veil. That frame is completely empty. I'm gonna go right for the heart. So here is, okay, here is the frame that the queen was on. This is the frame that we added so I was wrong, it was not this frame, it was this frame that we added that had empty comb on it. So what I'd, what I'd like to see is eggs on these two fra f facing frames. Well, let's see if that's what we actually see. I'll try to stay low too and just kinda, I'm gonna have to take the frame out of the, the view of the camera just to check for eggs, but let's just check real quick for the queen. I don't see her on this frame and I do not see eggs, but let me take a closer look. Yeah, I did not see eggs there. Another thing, by the way, if you're a new beekeeper, um, when I take this frame out, you, I doubt that the camera will catch it, but there's a, a collection of comb down at the bottom like it's a pile of comb, it looks kind of nasty. That's just because they haven't had a chance to get out and clean the hive a little bit. And there's some dead bees that, you know, died during the winter. Now the, the queen should be on this frame. This frame has a lot of honey right around it. Yeah, so the, the queen is actually in the same spot she was before. Now it's February, and they're not even close to get into a point where they're gonna start laying. But you see, she's right there, white, marked white. Uh, let me check for eggs. Yeah, there are, there are eggs on the fr in the frames. They're a very small patch. So you can see kind of the, um, the patch here where the syrup, this is all syrup, by the way, but this syrup is surrounded. So they've, They've done that on purpose. They want, they want these resources right around where she's laying an egg right now, actually. They, they want these resources right around where the queen uh, is laying eggs. So she's got eggs in there. There's no cat brood in here. I didn't see any larva. So it looks like they're just coming out of winter and she's starting to lay eggs. So what we want to do is if give them plenty of sugar syrup. Sugar syrup will make her not make her, but sugar syrup will, will cause them to start rearing brood because all of a sudden they have an influx of a resource. Now, if you put honey in here, just honey, frames of honey, that will not do the same thing. That will not encourage them to start rearing brood. But a can of syrup on the top of the hive, they will start rearing brood. So let me go ahead and shut them up here. 
make sure that queen doesn't go too far. I don't really like putting the, the frame in there. I know that this one's a nice, easy frame, but I don't really like it when she's on something that can smash her like that. So I'm gonna wait till she gets back to the actual comb right there. And then we'll put her in. There she is, okay. I can still see her, so. So that's all I wanna do with them today. Uh, I'll just, so you guys can get an idea. So that this, the force is a little less than it was, I think, last time we were in here. She's got her stinger out, see? See that, how her tail's up in the air? I hope the camera's catching that. But her tail's up in the air like that, and her stinger's out. But she's not really wanting to sting me. She just, she's just kind of, it's kind of a, you know, it's just a behavior. And there you can see a little tiny patch of bees and then a bigger patch here. So, and then there's a little tiny patch on the other side too. So we need to get them a little stronger. Okay, so let's move them back. Now, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna close them up right away because the hive next to them did die. Like I said, they lost their queen. And I want to I want to give them some honey in here. You notice the way, by the way, that I move these frames over. The queen is right here, so I'm comfortable moving them over here. Uh, plus, there's no bees in there, but I'm comfortable moving them over there. But if I do happen to squish somebody, I know it's not the queen because she's in here. That's the way you should do it. So this this frame has nothing on it, but it'd be good for a starter hive, good for a swarm, something like that, um, or a package. So what I want to do is grab a few frames out of this other hive and uh, try to put them and give them at least some honey on the outside. Okay, this is a nice big frame of honey. This is actual honey, you can see, with some granulated honey on it. It's about this that way on both sides. Give that to them and then I'll pull this frame out. And then this is basically the same thing. Granulated honey, some pollen in there. So now we know they have plenty of food and I can give them more later, but I'm still gonna put the syrup on them because I wanna, I wanna encourage them to start rearing brood. At this point, I know I'm gonna be able to at least give them syrup every week and that's really all you need. But uh, giving them you know, a pollen patty too will, will help them and will encourage them. This thing's basically, I'm just gonna throw this away. You can see they kind of ate away. I'm gonna go grab another one. It's actually, I think what I'll do is I'll break this in half. I think what I'll do is this. Kind of place this around. That's what I'll do. This is actually still nice and soft in there. Has some pollen in there. You can see the fresh pollen that I put in there, maybe. So we'll kind of do that around the cluster. that on nice and gentle, like. And their syrup. So again, this is two to one syrup, and it's just a little thinner because research shows that thinner syrup uh, is better than heavier syrup for enhancing brood production, so. So there we go. Okay, they're doing all right. Uh, lost, some, lost some bees. That's, you know, if, if we get some really cold weather in the next few days, that'd be a bad thing. Uh, it's gonna take, so she just has eggs in there. So it's gonna be another 23 days before we see any kind of growth, no matter what, out of this hive. 
So we're looking at the beginning of March before that brood starts hatching out, the eggs that we just saw in there. So trying to get her to lay more eggs means that more brood is gonna be hatching out around the beginning of March. Now that's a normal cycle. I mean, usually around my area, they start shutting down brood rearing in, in uh, December. You don't usually see it too much in January. And then now there's actually, usually at the end of January, you get pollen coming in. So they start to increase their brood production. That's probably what's happened here. I haven't seen, I haven't checked to see if there's pollen coming in today, but that's probably what's happened. And there's some pollen coming in, so it kind of stimulates them to start rearing some brood, which is what they've just started to do. Other bigger hives are gonna be much further along in the process because they shut, the bigger the hive is, the longer it takes for them to shut to shut the brood rearing operation down and the sooner they pick it up. So other hives are in better shape, but we'll get, we'll get these guys in good shape. So sorry this took so long. Hopefully in the next week or two, I'll be able to give you another update. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on right now. Obviously we just have eggs, but what, what, what I would like to do is next week, check to see if this syrup, uh, have, you know, if there's more eggs, there should be. And hopefully we'll see some larvae next week too. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Sorry it took so long. And uh, hope to see you back.